Hello and welcome to Cricket on Air, America's premium cricket show brought to you by Neo Cricket. Once again, we are your three hosts, Deepika, Himanshu and Shri taking you on another fun-filled ride of cricket stories. And to start this episode, once again, we'll start with our usual round, Cracking Up. Guys, as it is, there is an amazing amount of involvement of Bollywood in the cricketing scene. Now with the advent of IPL, it's become even worse. True, if they don't do something quickly about this involvement, we'll probably be calling cricket as Bollywood ka hood. Or simply Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this one is from my very good friend Lennon. What did Ponting say when UV thrashed the Aussies around and took India over the winning line in the quarter-finals of the recently concluded World Cup? Main to UV, 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 lut gaya. Main to UV, 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 lut gaya. Well, I have an original one. What did the principal say when Shane Watson's parents asked the principal of the school, so what class should Shane start in? Shane Watson's parents? What? What do you mean? Elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. Okay. <laughs> my dear Watson. Bada intelligent joke tha, Deepika. Kya baat hai? Kya khayaj? <laughs> That's it for cracking up this week, friends. When we come back, we'll take you on an interesting ride of cricket and Bollywood. Stay tuned. Welcome back, friends. You're listening to America's premium cricket show, Cricket on Air, brought to you by Neo Cricket. Today we are talking about Bollywood and cricket. That's right, guys. Two of India's greatest passions, Bollywood and cricket. Now let's start with cricket for a minute, guys. Uh, cricket itself is almost a religion in India. You know, everybody is so passionate about it. Passion pretty much oozes out of every corner of India as far as cricket is concerned. A very good example is Sudhir Gautam. I mean, I see him in every match in which India plays, especially the ones in Tendulkar plays. Isn't it he the guy who paints himself with all those colors and shows Full up body every paint. match? Exactly. And he has a shank and he plays the shank yep. as well. That's the guy. And what's more, Sudhir Gautam has himself said that li- his life is totally devoted to cricket. He doesn't even have time for girlfriends or getting married or what not because they're all distractions to him. I mean, nothing probably shows how passionate Indians are about cricket than Sudhir Gautam. Bollywood is just probably just as big a passion as cricket is in India. And I think one of the best examples of that is the number, huge number of people that show up in front of Amitabh Bachchan's house every morning just to get a glimpse of the star. Yeah, and I mean, imagine, you know, I mean, you, you are Amitabh Bachchan. What would, what would be going in your head when you are being worshipped as a god pretty much by the nation? I think that uh, having lived in the United States, sometimes I struggle with this idea, but I think it just uh, probably makes you feel really good about yourself. Cricketers get adulation, a lot of adulation very early in their careers. They kind of tend to lose their way sometimes. And that could be the very well the case with actors, I'm sure. Uh, Amitabh Bachchan has been there for a while, so I don't think he lost his way. You know, he's definitely what Sachin Tendulkar is to the cricket, what uh, you know, Amitabh Bachchan is to Bollywood. One well, sure. the interesting thing about f- uh, big names who lose their way is that you don't really hear them anymore or hear about them anymore. So mm. we won't be really talking about them anyway, <laughs> right? Anyway, coming back to the fact that you know Amitabh Bachchan is pretty much treated like a god uh, in India, as we all know, there are many gods. Another such god is Rajnikanth. What do you guys think about him? Absolutely. In fact, you know, I think we should have Rajnikanth on one of our shows and talk to him about him. Do you know, Himanshu, how we could contact him? Of course. Ready, Shri? Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Take down his email address. Uh-huh. Gmail at Rajnikanth.com <laughs> <laughs> But guys, once people realized that Bollywood and cricket are such huge things in India and they have such huge fan followings, that started one of the biggest uh, media or marketing exercises probably something because of which one could leverage the other yeah absolutely Shri I think if you look at it they are both two entertainment franchises absolutely and there's absolutely uh, a very big connection in it like say for example IPL has totally changed the landscape Bollywood stars own IPL leagues 
not only do they have the credibility, but they also have the money to afford these IPL leagues. So you see there's a direct intersection there. Speaking of IPL 4, just wanted to remind our viewers that you can catch all the cricket action non-stop from this IPL 4 on Neo Cricket. When we come back, we're going to talk about some of the Bollywood films that are based on cricket. So stay tuned. Welcome back friends to your favorite and America's premium cricket show Cricket on Air brought to you by Neo Cricket. Well guys, let's talk a bit about Bollywood, you uh -huh. know, and the films that have been influenced by cricket in Bollywood. You know, the one that comes to mind straight off the bat is Patiala House. Straight off the bat, I like that actually. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, the film didn't really come straight out of the bat. So that's true, actually. It was uh, pretty much battered around, I would say. <laughs> it was a big flop. You know, it had the perfect mix of Bollywood and cricket. To start with, it had Akshay Kumar, who's pretty famous and popular. Uh, also, it had a slew of cricketers, you know, from right from Nasir Hussain to, uh, you know, even uh, Andrew Simons. He, they also had the old cricketers uh, like, uh, you know, Ian Botham. And uh, really? Graham Gooch. So, so uh, you know, it really didn't make sense because this guy gives up cricket uh, from family pressures and comes back to play at the age of 34. It's a little bit uh, impractical. Yeah, but moving on from Patiala House, I think the best film made on cricket in Bollywood has to be Lagan. You know, I really, really was impressed by the film. You know, the captain, the inspirational Bhuvan. You know, he led by example, he practically taught people how cricket is played. Of course, the, the most interesting character I found in that was that of Kachra. Right. The, the spinner who had polio on his hand. Of course, by the way, that character was inspired by a former Indian spinner, B.S. Chandrasekhar, who also had polio on his uh, right hand. And the, 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 the attention paid to the details, the music, everything was just so fantastic. I mean, in spite of watching that film for, what, 20 times now, even today when I watch it and when the cricket match starts, I'm still on the edge of my seat. And I think one of the interesting points about that movie was that it was... Um, this non-resourceful, exactly. untalented cricket team of villagers that plays against the English uh, trained and well-equipped team. This is like that underdog story that they come from nowhere, win the match. And you, you know, a story like Lagan, even the Oscars couldn't exactly. afford to ignore it. Uh, I'm a much believer of the underdog, people who come from nowhere and make a big impact. And it's not about putting a laundry list of stars and celebrities and having no concept behind your story. And I think that's exactly what you're trying to say. But you know, one of the movies that I am really wanting to talk about here is Milan Lutra's Hat Trick. Uh -huh. You know, it was not a very interesting movie, but it had a very interesting theme that there were these five different characters whose lives were linked around cricket in one way or the other. So the movie has this Kunal Kapoor and Rimi Singh playing fans of Mahindra Singh Dhoni and Rimi Singh falls in love with Mahindra Singh Dhoni and that becomes a point of contention to the extent that they, they, this couple wants to divorce each other. Interesting spin on it because uh, she talks to her friends and they say uh, she was not happy with her husband watching too much cricket matches which is the story of a lot of uh, the women out there <laughs> and she wanted to say you know uh, take him away so her friend just suggested you know why don't you just see the cricket match because there are so many handsome guys and so she looks at his mind the same Dhoni and she falls in love like totally bizarre I, in fact I'm sure there are many other films that one can think of for example Iqbal was a very famous uh, movie made about cricket other films like Dil Bole Hadipa talked about how women can have an interesting role to play in a cricket match and of course the uh, film like Mujh Se Shadi Karogi which had a very interesting ending on a cricket field where Salman Khan gets his girl. Let's take a quick break now. When we come back, we'll talk about the role of cricketers in Bollywood films. Stay tuned. Welcome back friends. You're listening to the story of cricket and Bollywood on America's premium cricket show Cricket on Air brought to you by Neo Cricket. Friends, Cricketers have had some really interesting roles to play in Bollywood films. I'm not sure if all of them have been successful, but it really is worth taking a look at what people have really done. The first thing that, I, that comes to mind is uh, Kapil Dev played an interesting role in the Bollywood film Iqbal. He kind of helped Iqbal when he was um, on his bowling and eventually helped him get into the national team. Yeah, that's right, Shri. Uh, although I would also say that uh, the success that cricketers have got in Bollywood 
is only when they have really played as cricketers or acted as cricketers alone exactly you know like the last last scene of uh, you mentioned that movie the, the mutse shaadi karo mutse shaadi karo gayi right in that the cricketers were like playing themselves you know same thing with perhaps uh, mara mala mala mal in which uh, gavaskar played himself in nasiruddin shah right uh, but take the other side and in that we, you know we have our g- good old vinod kambli and ajay jadeja trying their hands at acting in a lead role or probably a supporting actor role i remember jadeja's uh, movie khel i have been unfortunate to see that movie <laughs> and uh, 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 seriously the movie was good you know don't, don't get me wrong but uh, jadeja did his best to spoil the fun in that movie i think that uh, guys the sum in conclusion really is that none of these act- uh, cricketers have been a successful actor right they simply don't perform well on the big screen and it, they look very out of uh, their zone or out of their place yeah probably because on the cricketing field they are not acting whereas on the big screen they have to act yeah and <laughs> there's a cut which they are not used to because they are performing live all the time but well, they are used to a cut but it's called square cut no way shri but you know guys i'm sure the makers of the film know this i'm sure the director of the film when he sees an ajay jadeja or a vinod kamli in front of camera he knows that he's not able to act as well as any other actor right. but they still go ahead with it why because they give them marketing value they go True. and project that ajay jadeja is coming out in a film and it makes big news everywhere yeah yeah of course and you know it's all about creating a buzz and uh, all these uh, bollywood stars already sell their names to you know create the buzz so uh, cricket is another phenomena in india and anything attached to cricket would definitely draw people into the cinema hall and that's exactly the end objective of any filmmaker yeah but who wants to see a cricketer act man i mean doesn't make any sense you know you want to see a cricketer do what he's doing which is yeah. great cricket but i have faith in the upcoming generation one of them will make it big in the bollywood and we have to just stay tuned for that okay we will stay tuned and i'm sure that you will stay tuned as well folks just wanted to remind our viewers that you can catch all the cricket action non stop from this ipl4 on neo cricket until we come back from our next break stay tuned welcome back friends to your premium cricket show cricket on air brought to you by neo cricket guys the advent of ipl has i would say remarried cricket and bollywood hasn't it absolutely in fact there are so many cricketers and movie stars that we see together because of ipl i don't think we've seen them ever before true i mean uh, you know sharukh khan srk popularly known as has brought about the kkr which is the kolkata night riders which kind of uh, sounds a bit fishy to me mujhe aisa lagta hai ki kolkata night riders ka naam कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स को रखा मुझे लगता है ये शाहरुख ने बोला होगा मेरे कम से कम दो इनिशियल होने चाहिए टीम के अंदर <laughs> तो उसको उल्टा करके एस आर के कहते के के आर कर दिया मे बी By the way it's not just SRK right Preeti Zinta and Shilpa Shetty also have bought stakes in IPL teams Yeah I think that really brings some glamour to the IPL also because these good looking women are now endorsing these teams and uh, Preeti Zinta is always on the at least I've seen that she's always there for most of our matches and it kind of brings a different crowd and you know every time she cheers on her team वैसे भी आई वुड रादर वॉच प्रीति जिंता एंड यू नो अपना शिल्पा शेट्टी ड्यूरिंग द ड्रिंक्स ब्रेक्स देन वॉच दीस यू नो द फेमस्ट मेन विद पसीना एंड ऑल दैट वैसे आईपीएल में यू डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट इट दे हैव मेनी गुड लुकिंग चेयर लीडर्स हु आर ऑलरेडी डांसिंग अराउंड सो यू आर प्रोबब्ली इन अ वेरी गुड स्पेस देयर अमंग यू बाय द वे आई वाज लिसनिंग टू अ हर्षा बोगले वीडियो सम टाइम and he was mentioning that because preeti zinta and shilpa shetty had uh, actually bought stakes in their teams players had added incentives to go and join those teams because if you go and perform well you used you to get hugs mujhe sochne wali baat hai guys sochne wali baat hai sochu right if you do well to hug milega if you don't do well to bhi hug milega hug to nahi bhi milega jaise marzi khelo in the first ipl shoaib akhtar flew in from pakistan to come into india and play the ipl he played his first match for kolkata night riders and he had an absolutely amazing spell he got some four wickets out he got seva out i remember and kolkata went on to win the match uh in the presentation sharukh khan was one of the people in the who was giving away these uh man of the match prizes he gave the man of the match award to uh shoaib akhtar and gave him a big huge hug 
And you know what Shoaib Akhtar must be thinking? I wish I was in Preeti's in that team. <laughs> you know, in fact, there have been studies done on weekend crowds and they have suggested that they prefer IPL to Bollywood movies. So people don't want to go watch a movie in a theater. They would actually buy tickets to watch an IPL match. Absolutely. But I agree that 2020 and IPL certainly bring out uh, families to watch cricket. But in the recent World Cup final, there was an interesting mix of people standing in the crowd. There was Rajni Khan, of course, True. which is why India won. Right. Uh, of course. Had, <laughs> of course. No, the other 11 didn't really count, did Exactly. They? And by the way, who would even dare losing to, you know, Rajni yeah. Khan's team? Exactly. Then there was Amir Khan, who was also, who's in fact, was sitting next to Rajni Khan while watching the final. And of course, there was Mahindra Singh Dhoni, who was playing on the cricket field. And how could we lose, right? <laughs> and people came up with an interesting jingle based on this. Unhoni ko honi kar de honi ko unhoni. Ek jaga jab jama hoti no. Rajni, gajni, aur dhoni. Welcome back, friends. You're listening to the story of. Cricket and Bollywood on America's premium cricket show, Cricket on Air, brought to you by Neo Cricket. So I want to talk about the really hot topic of the love affairs with the Bollywood stars and cricketers, you know. Uh, one of them that comes to my mind is of Reena Roy and Mohsin Khan. I mean, literally, the young people probably don't know about them, but, you know, unlike Shamila Tagore and Tiger Patodi, Reena Roy, Roy's romance with Pakistani cricketer Mohsin Khan didn't really have an happy ending, you know. Mm. They actually ended up uh, breaking up with each other, but they have uh, had a daughter together. The second one that's been a very sizzling affair and probably the most talked in the Indian media had been Sangeeta Bijlani and Muhammad Azuddin. You know, Sangeeta was actually called a marriage breaker because Azuddin was married at the time that they started seeing each other. You know, but one of the most exciting and uh, one was that of Nina Gupta and Viv Richards. And I, yes. I, I think we were all growing up at that time when this was happening. They were in a serious relationship for a brief period and even had a daughter, Masaba, who stays with her mom now. You know. And uh, did you guys know about Ravi Shastri and Amrita Singh? Oh yes, who doesn't? Really? I didn't really know about it. Okay, I, I stand corrected. She doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but whatever said and done, you know, Amrita Singh, uh, Ravi Shastri, Mohsin Khan, I have to give it to Deepika for her breadth of knowledge on this topic. Oh, I got, yeah. <laughs> the one that I'm really interested from uh, talking to you about is of Nagma and Saurabh Ganguly. Oh my God. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Let's talk about the more current uh, episodes of Bollywood and Cricket Stars. And I would like to point myself towards Yuvrat Singh, who has been with Kim Sharma and Deepika Padukone. I'm sure... At the same time? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he's in trouble. Well, uh, we hear marriage bells for Zaheer Khan and Nisha Sharwani now. Right. And uh, that one was also... Uh, something that caught a lot of media attention, that relationship. So those are like some of the really hard Bollywood and cricket love stories for you. Spicy stories I may add. Alright guys, let's take a break at this time and we'll be back soon with another segment. Welcome back friends, I'm Shri and you're listening to the story of cricket and Bollywood on America's premium cricket show Cricket on Air brought to you by Neo Cricket. Friends, because cricket and Bollywood has really come together uh, quite a bit in recent times, there's been an increased friendship between Bollywood and cricket as well. For example, Mahindra Singh Dhoni and John Abraham are known to be really good friends. I mean, Dhoni had a very secret marriage that he had with only close friends around and one of the main people who was there at that marriage was John Abraham. It really says something about their friendship. Uh, at the same time, SRK and Sachin Tendulkar or Shah Rukh Khan and Ganguly are really known to be good friends. So I'm sure there is a great synergy between uh, cricketers and Bollywood stars these days. Speaking of synergy, Shri, uh, you know, I have seen that uh, they have uh, these 
friends have also done certain advertisements together. Exactly. Right? I mean, one of the popular ones is the Sachin and SRK Pepsi ad. So, you know, I really enjoy watching cricket stars and Bollywood stars come together for ads. One thing is that they add a lot of entertainment value to the content that they're trying to produce. They basically bring up what is the theme of cricket on air. cricketainment so let's take a quick break when we come back we'll look at another interesting topic about cricket and bollywood stay tuned welcome back friends you're listening to the story of cricket and bollywood on america's premium cricket show cricket on air brought to you by neo cricket tu paisa paisa karti hai tu paise pe kyun marti hai are bhai kitna kya ho gaya paise ki baat kahan se aa gayi Hey, yeah, man! You Bollywood and cricket. I mean, the wealthiest two franchises. हम इतना पैसे की बात कर रहे हैं. Just was like something I couldn't resist singing. All right then. <laughs> Let's talk about the money aspect, guys. You know, money makes the world go round, and I mean, this is the lion's share of where the biggest money comes for India. in a large way yeah but jo marzi kalo i also feel a little bit apprehensive about this injection of so much of money in these in the in the sport of cricket for example and why is that yeah there uh, is ko nahi mil raha na kuch well it's not about me guys trust me i'm really worried about the talent of our young cricketers like virat kohli you know who are just about they're, they're just about blossoming into their careers and exact the opposite Uh, of him is an example of Rohit Sharma. I mean, he is doing well in the IPL now, but at some point, maybe because of all the money and the adulation that he got, maybe he 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 had success go to his head. I think that uh, all it can go either way. Uh, this all this glamour and money and fame that comes with cricket now. Uh, say, for example, it's probably motivating a lot of young people to actually pursue cricket as a career. So we have a good pipeline of youngsters who will become potential stars in the future. Guys, you can be our friends of Cricket on Air on Facebook dot com slash Cricket on Air, or you could also send us emails to feedback at Cricket on Air dot com. We'll be back with another. Exciting story about cricket. Same time next week, right here on Cricket on Air. Until then, sayonara and enjoy the cricket entertainment on your TV sets with the IPL brought to you by Neo Cricket. <laughs>